was a scene just days ago in Bogalusa when a council member was ushered out of a disorderly city meeting. Tonight, a town hall hoped to bring leaders together. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off tonight. Only one council member showed up tonight and residents who came were largely in support of the mayor. Amelia Strahan was at tonight's meeting as they voiced concerns over the growing division. Bogalusa. It's a city divided. Everybody in Bogalusa, me. Get them out of your talking zone. On one side, it's Mayor Tyron Trong. And the people who elected him. On the other, it's council members who he says don't approve of his leadership. We're constantly being fought on, on basic things and I think that the citizens are tired of it. Like they expressed tonight, they want the city council to work with the mayor's office. At a town hall on Friday, the officials had the chance to make up, but turnout wasn't good with only council member Tamira Smith showing up. And you're not here, but um, hey, I guess the meeting is gonna go on without you. But the mayor and his supporters did, by the dozens, including Bradley Thayers, who says the drama is getting out of hand. We want our city back, and this is just garbage that's blocking everything, and we're suffering. According to Mayor Tyron Trong, the Great Divide started whenever he took office back in January of last year, and it's been downhill ever since. Friday's town hall was called after a tumultuous city council meeting earlier in the week. During a heated conversation over a budget freeze, council member Penny Douglas was escorted out by deputies after the mayor claims she threatened him. The next day, Trong posted on social media announcing that he would take legal action and voicing his concerns about the ripple effect the incident could have on a city already fighting youth gun violence. Bogalusa is one of the most dangerous places um, in, in our state right now. And we're working so hard to shake that narrative. So for a sitting council person to, to say something like that, it really just baffles me. And as for Thayer, he's just ready for the city's halves to be made whole. It's kind of like an estranged couple and they need to get back together and they need to work because they work for us, the people of Bogalusa. After the town hall, we asked Council Member Smith for a comment, but she left the meeting before speaking with us. We also reached out to other Bogalusa City Council members multiple times. We haven't heard back from them either. In Bogalusa, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. This week, Trung vetoed a vote by the council to temporarily freeze the city budget. A special meeting will be held on Monday to address the freeze. Before that, the council is scheduled to appoint a District B replacement after the death of Councilmember Danielle Keyes earlier this month.